Hi, I'm Carrie with Educating, keeping you on the cutting edge of education. We at Educating are here to make sure you are kept up to date on interesting products, interesting strategies, and one of the things that we like to do is introduce you to those products when we get the opportunity through video. So today's video, I'll be discussing with you the ProBot. This is uh, a new product that is out that we think will make your STEM and STEAM lessons extraordinary. Remember, here at Educating, we want to make sure you're always on the cutting edge, but you can't do that if you haven't liked, subscribed, and hit the notifications so that you can be notified when we have new videos for you. Let's learn about the ProBot. So the first thing I do when I get a product is I open it up and I see what kind of instructions come with it. The ProBot really comes with some great instructions. The instruction manual is easy to read. It's very informative on how to set it up and how to use the bot. It also discusses different ways to program it uh, without having to do all the planning yourself. So if you're going to do it as a demonstration for your classroom, You've got those instructions right there. You don't have to go through the discovery of how to use the bot. It's in there for you. Students are going to love this product because it's a race car. Who doesn't like a robot that is also a race car? I found it to be very easy to use. Uh, another great feature is the fact that you don't need another um, a, a computer or anything else to program this. You are programming all of your coding right here on the bot itself and it can go from very simple things to even more complex and difficult things so let me show you just it running and uh, drawing some simple shapes and some of the noises and lights that it does you can simply program it to do something like draw a triangle like it's doing here or you can program it to play certain lights and certain sounds like here So this is a classroom tool. You know, to simply drive a car around the classroom, programming it, that is a fun thing to do and it does take thought and forethought and um, problem solving. Uh, you could do simple things like maybe have an obstacle course that the bot has to go through. So driving around is one thing that it does, but also on the bot itself, you'll see this area here is for a pen and what they suggest is a pen that is like this a dry erase marker that you would put into the bot itself and as it drives around uh, it can draw the shapes that you have programmed into it let me show you a picture of what it looks like with the the pen in it so uh, I had a little bit of difficulty because it is suggested that this is the pen that you use for um, drawing the, uh, the different shapes that you program, but this pen didn't want to fit into the bot. I tried a variety of pens and ultimately what I found was the Sharpie pen is the one that, that I wound up using because it actually fit into the bot the best from what I had. But uh, it is recommended that you use a dry erase marker on a dry erase surface so that it, it, you know, it doesn't use up any um, materials for you. But I just use this bot on paper uh, using a Sharpie. So I want to talk a little bit more about how uh, you can use this product because uh, the different things that it can do, it's not just going to run around your classroom, but you can have the children uh, really discuss how to program the bot to draw the shapes that you want them to draw. So I'm going to show you a couple of pictures and um, just some brief videos. First uh, is drawing a square and uh, then I'm going to show you how I drew a triangle. So here you can see the simple code I had to enter to create have the ProBot execute a square very simple you 
directly type it into the bot and then once you get the program in you just press go And it's the same thing for the triangle. You enter the simple code into the bot itself. Simply type it in on the keypad. The instruction manual tells you exactly how to do it, and it's very simple. And then you press go. Now you may have noticed those were not my hands in that video, but my son does help me with these things very often. Uh, he really enjoys working with the in, with all of our products that we get, but he really liked the ProBot because of the simple way to program it by just entering it into the buttons here and then executing it and you immediately see if you've made a mistake or not. Um, I also wanted to program it to do something a little more complex, so we did. I did this one on my own. I didn't ask for any help this time, and I did a five-point star, so check it out. So I programmed it using the code that was in the instruction manual, and this bot is going to draw a five-point star. Uh, to draw the star, you had to know how long do you want those sides to be, what size are the angles. It really is a great way to teach geometry. I really thought it was awesome, and I was able to do it all by myself. So I know students can do it with ease. So I am the first person to admit that I am not the most tech savvy person. And so if I'm able to use the ProBot and to program it to make that five point star, I think you could too. The ProBot is a, an excellent tool to use in your classroom. It's rechargeable or you could have batteries. They're not very expensive. I think that this is something that would be great to have in any STEM or STEAM lesson. Geometry is a great focus at all levels. No matter how technical you want to be or how simple you want to be, the ProBot is something that you'd be able to use. Thank you for watching. We here at Educating, we're always here to keep you on the cutting edge of education. If that means a new product or a new strategy, we're here for you. Please make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great steamy day.